Our next step is going to be sewing the two pieces together. So here I have the right sides together on top of each other and I'm going to sew down this side and then down this side. And when you're sewing with um, knits and especially sw swimwear, you're going to want to use a stretch stitch. And one of those stretch stitches is a zigzag stitch. So on my machine, I have set it to a number three, which is a zigzag stitch. So that is what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna sew down this side and this side. So here I have what I just sewed and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. So here we have the front and there we have the back and it, these are inside out of course but you'll notice at the bottom we still have it opening so we don't have a place for your legs yet. But what you're going to do is you're going to match up these seams right here and match up the edges and just stitch along that the same way we just stitched. So we'll do that right now. So now we pretty much already have a pair of shorts. So now is the time you could probably try those on and see how they fit and how you like them. Uh, maybe you want to cut more off the top or maybe you made them too long. Um, maybe you made them too short and you want to add more to them. So do that now. Um, and next, what we're going to do is we're going to hem the bottom of them. And I'm just going to start by getting my seam gauge and measuring half an inch. I'm going to turn mine up half an inch. My shorts are still inside out, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to measure half an inch. And once I get it to a half an inch right there, I'm going to take some pins and just pin that so I can get ready to sew it. So I'm just going to do that all the way around my shorts on both legs. Once you have the bottom of your shorts all pinned and ready to go, we are now ready to sew it. And you're going to want to make sure you're going to put your twin needle in. We're going to use that now. So you're going to want to make sure you set your machine back to the straight stitch. You don't want to break your needles by still having it on the zigzag. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sewing all the way around. And you want to make sure that the twin needle is on the right side of your fabric because you don't want that to be on the back. And you want to make sure that you're catching on the back as well. Once the hem on the bottom of the shorts is done, next we're going to do the encasing at the top for the one inch elastic that we have. If you have a different size, you'll want to um, account for that. Because I have a one inch elastic, I'm just going to um, fold this. This is my right side, so I'm going to fold to the inside about one inch and then I'm going to pin that just like I did the hem. After I'm, I'm done pinning, I'm now ready to sew, and I'm going to use the twin needle again, but this time you're going to want to make sure to do it closer to the one inch mark so that your elastic can fit in there. So here I am about an inch and a half from where I started and I'm going to stop right there and cut my threads because then I can have a place to put my elastic in. So next I'm going to take my elastic and put a safety pin through the end of it. This will make it a lot easier to pull it through the shorts. Then I'm going to put my safety pin 
through my shorts and the elastic will just trail along. So you just kind of scrunch and pull, scrunch and pull all the way around the shorts. Once I reach the end, I'm going to pull and just get my elastic situated all the way around the shorts to where it would actually fit on me. Once you have the elastic encased all the way around, you're going to want to try them on and see how they fit. And that's going to determine where you sew the elastic. So. I'm, mine is about right here where it needs to be sewn. So I'm just gonna do a couple rows of zigzag stitching so that that doesn't come apart while I'm wearing them. So I'm gonna set my machine to a three and I'm gonna um, use a single stitch needle instead of the twin needle. After you have your elastic sewn together so that it won't come apart, you're just gonna pull it through the rest of the way and it should just cover up like that and next we're just going to sew that down so I've put my double needle back in and then I'm just going to come back to where my stitching ended and stitch from both ends um, and just meet those up and this is where you really want to make sure this is pulled down and that you're catching that because that has the tendency to pull up now that you have the elastic in and not stay in there quite as nicely Now there's just one more thing that you want to do before your shorts are finished. The elastic has a tendency to roll and curl while it's in your shorts. So to prevent that, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, stitch right along this seam and right along the other seam, right? Just right in that crack is where we're going to stitch. And that'll prevent the elastic from rolling and twisting and really bugging you. And now you are done with your shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.